you can see now, a lot of people here have been cleared out of the area. You can see the officers continuing to make their steady movement to the crowd now. And just to give you an idea of a vantage point of what we're doing, we're now walking back towards the Ferguson Police Department at this point. A lot of the tear gas in the area has started to uh, dissipate. That's certainly good news um, because it's easier, obviously, to breathe. <clears throat> so what they're going to do is they're going to move through the crowd, and what they're going to do is they're going to try to isolate those who are causing problems. They've got uh, night vision on. They've been able to watch some of those who were throwing from over on the sidelines, throwing bricks, throwing bottles. They're going to try to isolate those people, make those arrests, try to clear the area. Good God. Look at all that riot gear. I'm going to take you back up the street a little bit more if we can as we try to move through here as quickly as we can because now it seems like the officers have finally gotten a hold of the situation as they've moved now back in front of the Ferguson Police Department. I'm going to ask my producer here, Jan, we're still doing this, correct? Okay, so we're going to keep walking up here. As you can see, some of those wearing uh, gas masks, some of the protesters, as they're now moving back towards the front of the Ferguson Police Department, a line of Ferguson police officers, also from St. Louis County Police, moving forward here as well. Now they've confronted another crowd here in front of the Ferguson Police Department. This is what we saw initially. You can see a number of Ferguson police officers still standing where they were when the announcement was made. They're still standing there in riot gear, still holding their position. As you can see right over here, we've got um, a barricade up that has not been challenged, but now we've got a line of police officers who are now meeting up with the very few demonstrators that are left out here in front of the Ferguson Police Department. I'm gonna move up through here just a little bit more you can see where the line is here, some of those in riot gear, a number of officers here. We've sort of ended up now in the middle. I'm going to try and make my way up through the... Sorry about that, sir. I'm going to try and make our way up here through the middle of these officers who are this crowd. You got to stay up. You got to give us the room, okay? Yes, sir. Can you give us the room, please? You got it. You got it. So they're asking us to give them a little bit of room. We're going to let them do their job. How are you, sir? We're going to move around the other end. Try to give you another vantage point up here. Why don't you show them right over here, Steve, what they're what they're dealing with here? Small group of people that the officers now have um, have uh, surrounded up here, where where we are right from the Ferguson Police Department. But I have to tell you, before there were hundreds of people who were gathered here in front, hundreds. Now they seem to have dispersed. Right now it's Van Jones and I are here. You can see the police have assembled. This is where they decided to stop. These are all the heavy police vehicles. They have shot a lot of tear gas. We have been told then, as you know, that they weren't going to do it. Let us broadcast, okay? Uh, we've been told they weren't going to be using tear gas. Uh, There's a lot of tear gas used. Some flashbangs were used. They were using beanbags to disperse the crowd. Uh, the crowd was not ready for it. It was certainly effective dispersing it, but we weren't ready as well. You got it up here. We were down where it was starting. Yeah, we, we, we were, uh, people were trying to were trying to broadcast. We got hit. People, the, the tear gas was really, really uh, serious. So a lot of people fell down. Security grabbed some people and pulled them away, but it was really, really tough scene here. I don't know what was, what was going on, but I, I know that, uh, you know, I, I, I was crying for help. I saw a lot of people that you guys see on TV crying for help with the tear gas hit. They were, uh, they're shining a very bright light at us right now. They were trying to overturn a police car. They were throwing uh, rocks at the police car. They started to send some signals out. One, that this was all an unlawful assembly. They were saying, you're not allowed to be in the street here. Uh, and the crowd wasn't dispersing. That's when the tear gas started. They used some beanbags to stop the people from overturning the police car, which had been um, really destroyed by them. Yeah, well, no, no. There were some real serious knuckleheads, and that part made a lot of sense. Once they started stampeding people back up, once you had people stampeding back up, the addition of the tear gas, I think, made things a, a lot worse uh, for a lot more people. Well, it's certainly damaging, but it did disperse the crowd. I mean, one of the risks for us when you're covering this is that you wind up being too close to situations. Uh, and uh, again, the police have made their line here. I can't see them because they're shining a very bright light in our eyes right now. But behind that is a line of police 
uh, they uh, are armed, but they are not brandishing the weapons right now. Frankly, they haven't needed to because they dispersed everybody so rapidly with the tear gas. Uh, Don's back now. Uh, people had to spread out and go, we're not hearing, we're just broadcasting because we lost, we lost IFB. They're trying to dial us back in. We're fine. We got a little overcome. The tear gas came. Let us broadcast. He's fine. He's fine. So, again, the situation right now is that the police have stopped here right in front of the fire and police station. I don't know why they're shining this light right at us right now, but the crowd is largely dispersed. It's reassembled down the street. There is a fire burning there right now. It is quiet back down at the other side of the street where this happened, but it seems to be a storefront, Don, if you can see there, Van, what that is that's burning. Um, they're trying to wire us up. Yeah. So there, there seem to be flames at that end of, of the street. We're not quite sure what it is. Um, and uh, uh, we're, we're going to get uh, Don back in. Don, Don, of course, had on his gas mask when the, the tear gas hit, but I, I don't think it was enough no, for him. It, it, it didn't work for him. It wasn't tight enough. Can you guys hear me now? In the control room?